Hey, Blakey here, just gonna take you through the difference between a movable and an immovable obstruction that you may find out there on the golf course during your next round. Okay, in this situation, my ball has just come to rest here on the fairway, uh, and I have interference from this movable obstruction, or let's just call it an obstruction at this stage. So I can either play as it lies, right? Or what are my relief options? Well, here at Spring Valley, these ropes and stakes uh, specifically are movable obstructions. So there's no free relief. It just means that you get to pick it up and move it out of the way if you wish. So there's no free drop under 16.1. This is simply under 15.2, movable obstruction. And then I just get to play the ball as it lies. Okay, so at Spring Valley, uh, these ropes and stakes are movable obstructions, but some courses may make them immovable obstructions where you can't move it, it's immovable. And they might do that so that uh, golfers aren't very good at putting things back. Uh, so they don't want you to move it, don't want you to touch it, uh, but they'll give you free relief if your ball is in that general area, uh, bunker or putting green. So let's take you through uh, the situation. So you still can play the ball as it lies, or you've got the free relief if you've got interference to your swing, so that swing, uh, if you're standing near it where you had interference to your stance, including your body, uh, or the lie of the ball, considering like a sprinkler head where the ball is sitting on the immovable obstruction. So if I just grab a tee here, uh, or just work out my nearest point of complete relief, so I'm not hitting the rope here, um, and it's, all, it's okay to make a little bit of an exaggerated swing, just to make sure that you're not going to be hitting it because we'd hate for you to take relief and then you know do yourself an injury on an immovable obstruction so right there that's my nearest point of complete relief and then i get a club link from there now you don't have to measure it you can measure it if you want just to make sure it's correct uh, lift your ball you can use a different ball and then just drop it from knee height within that relief area it's uh, stayed within the relief area even though it moved forward after it bounced. Uh, it's no nearer the hole, uh, so it's ready to play. Oh, nearly got that one. <laughs> 